let us solve another question on price elasticity of demand the question is like this the demand function for a quantity q is equal to quantity demanded is equal to 35000 minus 5p q is the quantity demanded p is the price we have to find out our what range of price quantity demanded will be in elastic okay so we have to find out the price range in which our quantity demanded will be in elastic okay so the options are from 100 to 600 300 to 399 500 to 3900 or from 0 to 3900 we have to find out the correct option here okay now we are being told uh, quantity demanded should be in elastic okay what is the uh, what we call the price elasticity of demand function we write it like this elasticity of demand is given by dq upon dp into p upon q this is the price elasticity demand function okay now we have to find out the range where our quantity demanded will be inelastic by inelastic we mean our e should be less than one okay elasticity of demand should be less than one okay which implies in this equation this dq upon dp into p upon q should be less than one okay this denotes the inelastic demand okay inelastic demand and inelastic demand okay is then when our uh, e is less than one by elasticity we mean absolute value of elasticity okay so what we are being given here we have q is equal to 35 thousand minus 5p okay now first to find dq upon dp dq upon dp is equal to so take the derivative of this function okay since uh, with respect to p no p is involved so derivative will be zero the derivative of p is one so we are left with minus five okay now what we have to do we need to hold this very equation that means in equation our elasticity of demand should be less than one okay that means this very thing dq upon dp into p upon q should be less than one okay now what is our dq upon dp this is minus 5 okay we have p here let me write it here p and what is our q q is again this 35000 35000 minus 5p it should be less than 1 okay since we are taking the absolute value of uh, demand that means this negative sign will vanish that means we have 5p upon 35000 minus 5p should be less than 1 okay i hope you are getting what i mean by this we take the absolute value here okay that means we take the absolute value of this thing absolute value of this thing should be less than one here we got the negative sign here that means when we take the absolute value here so this minus will get vanished so we have plus five here okay now solving for p so we have five p is should be less than when we transpose this it will get multiplied with one so we have thirty five thousand minus five p now transpose this 5p here so this is 5p it will get added so 5p it was minus 5p it became plus 5p should be less than 35,000 that means 10p should be less than 35,000 or p should be less than 35,000 upon 10 so 10 will get cancelled that means our price should be less than 35 hundred and obviously greater than zero so that quantity demanded is inelastic okay on the graph we can show it like this i have explained the elasticity along it go okay if this is our quantity demanded function that means demand function okay intercept is 35 sorry we have this when p is equal to 0 q is equal to here we have 3500 
थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड ओके सो लेट्स नॉट वेरी अबाउट द इंटरसेप्ट हेयर द पॉइंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक हेयर सो इफ दिस इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लाइन सेगमेंट हेयर वी हैव एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ग्रेटर दैन वन एट मिड पॉइंट प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज इक्वल टू वन एंड आवर दिस रेंज elasticity is less than 1 we were being told to find out the price the range of price where quantity demanded will be inelastic so we have to find the, this very point that means our this range let us say this is 3500 here okay 3500 that means from 0 to 3500 our Uh, quantity demanded will be inelastic i have explained this thing in a video you can check that video where i have told you how does the elasticity change along a demand curve okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you